Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel for part one of a two-parter guys of a Nintendo eShop sale bargain pickup but why am I doing it in two parts? I don't do that normally do I? Well, this first title guys deserves a video all of its own because it's stunning and from the art style to the music it is so chilled guys, it's what I call chillaxing so if you've had a hard day at work or something, come on, play this for a bit and you'll chill right out. Oh my word, it is absolutely beautiful. The art style is very interesting. It reminds me quite a lot of Zelda in a way. I suppose just the way some of it, the way it flows, the, the art style. Um, yeah, it does. Obviously, it is completely different, really. But it does remind me of it. Um, of Breath of the Wild, of course. Uh, yeah, it is called Aya Memories of Old. Now, this has been on all sorts of different consoles, guys. It's been on PS4, obviously Switch, which is what we're looking at. It has been on PC. It has been on Linux. It has been on Mac OS. Xbox One as well. So this has done the rounds, guys, since its release on the 25th of October 2017. Obviously, the Switch got it a bit later. But wow, there is many ways to play this beautiful game, guys. Now, it was developed by... Let's have a look down here, guys. Oh, Forgotten Key, of course, from Sweden. Um, they have done some fantastic games in the past. And this is no exception to the rule, I can tell you that. And it was published by Dedalic Entertainment of Germany. Um, so, yeah, two... Pretty bloody stellar companies behind this one. Now, this is the best part, guys. This is normally just under 20 quid. At the moment, in the eShop sale, it is £1.79. So, wow, what a saving. That is a massive saving. So, yeah, if you like what you're going to see, you need to head over and grab it while it's cheap, guys, because it's normally nearly 20 bloody quid. So, yes, guys. Can you imagine, <clears throat> you are, this young girl, in a world that has been destroyed and is now all floating islands. And uh, you can change into a bird and fly between those islands. And then you have this puzzle element to solve as well. You get sent on these missions and you've got to solve the puzzles. All done in this beautiful art style. That, I say, reminds me a bit of Zelda. I'm probably going to be shot in the comments for this, but you'll, you'll probably see what I mean. Oh, my word. It is a fantastic story, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, obviously, it goes a lot more in depth than what you're going to see me play. But, yeah, stick with it, guys, and you will get an absolute kick out of this one. Now, the critics at the time, they thought that it was fantastic. They love it. They love it to bits. But they said that there couldn't be a sequel to it. Now, I get what they mean. There couldn't be a sequel with this character. Um, but you could pull more out of this universe, guys, and have other characters tell their story and watch their stories, you know, develop and un un unravel. Um, so, yeah, I think there is a lot more to come from this. Now, the genre is considered to be an action puzzle indie game. So, yeah, that, that suits it down to the ground, guys. It is an adventurous game. It is a puzzling game, and it is definitely an indie game, guys. So, this probably won't suit everybody. If you're there and you want a third-person shooter where you just bang, 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 killing everything, this isn't the game for you, guys. This is in-depth. This is quite vast. There's a huge area to explore. And uh, there's a puzzle element to it. And, of course, you've got to solve the mystery of it all, haven't you? The, and have the adventure of a lifetime. So, yeah, this is going to take some hours, guys, this one. But, wow, is it going to be worth your while at the end of it? And at that price, you'd be a... Oh, if you love that kind of genre, guys, you'd be a fool not to pick it up, wouldn't you? At £1.79. 
So right guys, are you ready for this part one? And we're looking at just the one title, guys. Aya Memories of Old. Right, hold on to your britches. As I always say, hold on tight. Because this is awesome. Back in a sec. Right, here we go, guys. With this nearly £20 game normally. I do apologise that you can see my reflection. You poor, poor people. Forgotten key. Press any button to start. All right. Oh, that looks pretty damn cool already, doesn't it? Look at that. Wow. All right, here we go then. Yeah, memories of old. So, yeah, a new game. Obviously, I have not played this game before, guys, so we're experiencing it for the first time together. Unless you've played it, of course. So you read that if you want to, guys. Morning. What an interesting art style, guys. Wow. Well, hey, that's how you move there. Can you jump or anything like that? All oh, right, that's to look around. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Handle there. We've got here. Can't jump. No. No. I'm just trying to see what you can do. No. Can't jump. You can turn like that. All right. Okay. So we're just going over here then, I guess. Oh, no. It's telling me to jump with A. Oh, okay. So you couldn't jump until they tell you. You can jump. All right. Okay then. Interesting music, guys. What have we got around here? Anything? What's that? Uh huh. You can go up there. We've got this area here as well. Lots of writing. Let's see what it says. Uh huh. Okay then. There's nothing else up here. No, that is a dead end. So we're going over here then. Okay, so we've got to jump over to there. Oh, hey. Nice one. Well, oh, I just made that jump. Blimey. Oh, more. More writing. Okay then. Read again. Well, there's a lot of writing just for that little bit, isn't it? Right, where are we now? Okay. Whoa, whoa, what was that down there? Anything? Uh, nothing interesting down there? No? Okay. No. Oh, what have we got up here then? Can I get up there at the moment? Nothing there? No. Okay then. Very interesting. And what is this, I wonder? Hmm. What? Let's 
Keep going. What have we got down there then? Oh, more little like uh, islands almost. Oh, that's where we've been already. Okay. This is very chillaxing, that's for sure. The music is uh, very relaxing as well. Mm, okay then. Nothing yet now. Okay. Ah, oh, right, okay, so we're going here, are we? Yeah, right. This seems to be where we've been aiming for then, eh? Oh, big hole in the sky. Oh, hole in the ceiling. I've got no idea or anything. What's that? Hmm. Right, okay, back over here then. All these funny little symbols here. Okay, and we'll approach it. Take it, it's yours. Ooh. What has happened? That doesn't look good. Oh dear. Why? Lantern. Okay, there we go, the lantern's on. Oh, there's people everywhere, look. Huh. They appear to be frozen. Where am I going now then, eh? Am I supposed to go back out? Or what? Yeah, it looks like it, guys. I'm going to go back the way I came. Oh, all these people are look. All praying to her. To her. How do I get back out of here? Oh, right, yeah, over here on it. No, it's not over here. Right, okay, I can think I can see it. Let's get the hell out of here then. Yeah, here we go. Whoa. Jeez, the way it's all changing. Look. No, big boulders and things. No, what happened there then? Shite, what do I do now? Jump down. Okay. Where am I going to now then? Something happens. Oh, what's this? Way! What the hell is that? It's like water or something. Hey! Let's keep on going. Like I say, guys, very interesting art style, that's for sure. I seem to be stuck now. Where the hell am I going to go from here then? For sure. Oh dear. Where the hell do I go? Can't get up here, can I? I'm sure I can't get up there. No. Oh dear. Have I got myself stuck. Oh, what was I say? supposed to do with that then? What am I supposed to do with that information, eh? Oh, whatever. I'm trying to get out of here. This might well be taking me somewhere here. Oh yes, yeah, so here we go. I quite obviously need to get my ass out of here and quick. Yeah, here we go. We're getting there, guys. 
guys, we're getting there. Nearly out. Yeah, we're out. Well, that's very dramatic, wasn't it? In a very relaxing kind of way at the same time. How weird is that? Lots of these loading screens, of course, there would be. Come on. Now you can imagine there's quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of graphics here, I suppose. You know, it's uh, going to be quite a long loading screen, I suppose. Right, nearly there. Okay then. Oh, there's a man there. Right, okay. Keep it safe. Village over by the lighthouse, huh? Okay then, Diana, eh? Right? Well, let's see what they mean by that. Right, we've got the settlement. Oh, right, yeah, okay. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So, whoa, what happened there? No, oh, come back. Oh, that is wicked, guys. Nice one. I thought I was dead. <laughs> there we are. There we're here. Wherever that is. Wherever this is. Not that I know where I'm going from here. Flip, eh? Flip. Oh, right. Flap. Ah, right. When you're a, when you're a bird, you can flap. Okay. That's it. Wicked. Aha. Right, okay. Oh, this is looking beautiful, isn't it? Eh? What a beautiful game. Ah, uh, back down as a person, cool. What can I go off? Ah, oh, right, okay. What is this then? Examine. Okay, back there, so now we've got to find Diana, haven't we? Oh, that could be her here. Down in this settlement here. Let's see what they say. Hey. In some falls, eh? Hmm. Where is Diana? Ah, oh, there's Diana.
turn him. Okay. This looks pretty damn fun as well, yeah. Um, obviously, probably quite in depth. A big old story attached to it, no doubt. I wonder where this uh, snow topped place is that she was on about. Let's have a look around. Anyone anywhere? Doesn't appear to be. All these different islands here, they were really cool. Look at all these different places you can go, guys. This is wicked. Can you land here, though? Oh, hey, it's just clouds. <laughs> Just clouds. Right, here we go. Here's windfall, whatever. We're here. Hmm. Where I was told to go, wasn't it? There seems to be lines over there. Though. Wow, it's like it's telling me to go over there. Okay then. Love the way you can change in the air. That's pretty damn cool. Am I supposed to go through here then? Looks like it. Let's do now then. Okay. Right, so we're here. Well, there's a statue of some kind there. Right, let's go over here. Oh, I can't do anything here. I don't appear to be able to do anything. Alright, okay. Hmm. What the hell is that? Oh. This is, uh, yeah, this is brilliant, guys. I love it. And it's all in a little weird way. Let's go down here. What have we got here, then? Oh, I could have landed up there, then. What is this?
Where's we gonna go over here? I want to land on here now. Because <laughs> it looks quite interesting. Ah, not much here though. What was this then? Hmm. It was never the same again. So you could get into here. <coughs> oh no, 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 there is a big stone in the way. Okay then. We have to get out this way then. Where we were already, yeah. Oh, King's Pass. Okay. Well guys, we're literally just drifting around here because I'm not doing what you're meant to be. I'm just exploring really. Well, that's the best way to find out how good this game could actually be. It's certainly a very interesting art style, that's for sure. But it is time to bring the video to a halt. I mean, obviously, if you like this type of game, you're going to love this, aren't you? You're going to absolutely love it. Very interesting art style, a ton to explore, and obviously if you're following the story properly, unlike me, you know, you're going to get a ton of bloody fun out of this. This is a snowy area, this could be the area she was on about, although it's not that snowy, but yeah, that could be it. I do love the way it works with the old uh, bird there. I think that is pretty damn cool. Has to be said. Whee! I'll turn back. I'm sure you can fall and die. Can you fall down here now? Yeah, you can. Yeah, there we go. And you don't die when you hit the ground as a human. Or oh, if that is what you are, a human, even. Yeah, absolutely blinding. Yeah, I love the art style, guys. It's very, very interesting, very different. And like I said, guys, I'm sure it can get quite an immense game if you proper get into it. Right, back with my final thoughts. What did you think of that one? Very interesting, isn't it? The art style there, where... She hasn't really got a face, has she? Yeah, it's beautiful in its own way. I love that um, bit at the beginning where you've gone to the, the first temple and then you have to get out quick, don't you, before it all collapses on you. And then you get sent on to your next mission. You have to go and find the, the lady. She then sends you on to the next mission and so on and so on. Obviously, I didn't go too far into it. We would have been there forever. I mean, that was nearly half an hour's gameplay there. So you can imagine that this is a huge game, guys, and with plenty of bloody areas to explore. Now, there was a hint, obviously, from the daughter to go to a snowy area. So take all that in as you're playing, guys, because there'll be a reason why you're getting sent there. Um, obviously, each and every one of them sent you to a different place. So that's already three places. You've got to search. Obviously, you've got the husband, you've got the lady herself, and then you've got the daughter. So you've got to 
you know, search those three areas already. But then there's all that other areas as well as you're flying along, which I think is beautiful, the way she can skip between being a bird and, and a, what you would call a human, isn't it? I think that's fantastic. You can even do it mid-air, and she still, you know, she doesn't fall straight to the ground and die. You've got all this time where you can flick back to being a bird again. Oh, it is just awesome. The uh, controls are beautiful, guys, because obviously you can move left and right with a stick, or you can use the shoulder buttons um, when you're in flight. You can, oh, you've got all these extra moves, guys, some that I haven't even shown in that little bit of video there. Um, so, yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful game with a fantastic story. Gorgeous art style, very, very different. At first, you're a bit, hmm, but then you just fall in love with it, guys. And the music, like I said, guys, if you've had a stressful day, this is a proper one to chill you out. This is awesome. <sighs> but what did you think, guys? Are you going to go over and grab it? Comment below. Will you grab this nearly 20 quid game for £1.79 while it's cheap? I think it's going to be a doozy, guys. I think everybody's going to fall in love with it. I'm sure it's, so, it's done the rounds so much already. I'm sure a hell of a lot of you guys out there have already played it. Maybe you've even completed it. You know what to do? Comment below, guys. Does it get better and better and better? And, um, you know, this whole thing about uh, there can't be a sequel. I think there could be. I mean, they could take it from, the, the, you know, from another character, couldn't they? Like the daughter, for instance. Her grown up. And, you know, she could go on an adventure of her own, couldn't she? Rediscovering some of the places she went with her mum and dad um, when they went on adventures. Um, yeah, th there's so many stories that they could pull from this universe. It could become a proper franchise. So, yeah, they might not use the same character they used in the first one, but they could pull it from other characters. So I think there's definitely room for sequels. Mm. What do you think? Right, there we go, guys. That's why I did this as a part one, because we've got a fantastic Namco one coming, guys, in part two. I have purchased three Namco collections. Um, well, actually, it's four Namco collections. Hang on a minute. What was it? Four Namco collections, you silly arse. I forgot I had another one already on the Switch. So, yeah, uh, I've got four Namco collections, which I want to show you. Uh, two I already actually had on the Switch, and two I have purchased in the sale. That is why I'm doing it as a separate one. So, yeah, if you want to see the four Namco collections on the Nintendo Switch, look out for the next video, guys, because it might just give you a guide as to which one you want to pick up. Maybe you want to pick them all up. That'll be up to you. But at least I'll show you what is actually on them and if it's worth your time or not. And it's four, not three. Plank. Anyway, yeah, that's what we're going to do in part two, guys. So with that, I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thummy thumbs up. And of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any notifications. And again, guys, do you love emulation by any chance? You know, portable, home system, whichever way you might play it. So if you do, a brilliant group for you guys is the Retro Emulation Fan Group on Facebook. Myself and the admin team would love to have you there. So if you love emulation, you'll be spot rotten over there, guys, because we've got tons of videos for you. System reviews, custom firmware reviews, help review, you know, reviews, help videos. If you're stuck on anything, there might be a video there for you. And if there isn't, just ask us the question that you need help with, and one of us will try and help you out. There is, of course, a ton of members on there to have a banter with, and they might be able to help you out as well. So yeah, if you love emulation of any kind, guys, head over to Facebook, look up the Retro Emulation Fan Group. And then, guys, I've got my UK Crap Gaming Facebook page as well, where we cover everything gaming. Whether it's retro to modern, anything is covered, guys. Again, tons of videos there from other YouTubers who put their videos up. And a fantastic bunch of people just to have a banter with. A really brilliant place to be if you just love gaming, full stop. So yeah, if you love gaming, head over to Facebook, look up UK Crack Gaming, or lowercase, and uh, ask to join, and I'll accept you in no time. And then, guys, I have a Patreon page. It is linked below. If you want to head over to Patreon, watch my video on why I set it up in the first place, and then see if you would like to join me on my Patreon journey. With that, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. And so, Peter Zane, 
Tschüss and goodbye. Look out for part two, guys, coming later today. Right. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss and goodbye. And I'll see you later, guys.